What is up guys, Two Hang Gaming here and today I'm gonna show you how to build the best base in 7 days to die. Are you new to this game and you want a place you can safely put your stuff while you go out and explore? Maybe you are playing a game for a while and you are unsatisfied with your current base. Or you just want a safe place to spend the night in without zombies tearing up your house down and bothering you while you craft your stone axe and clubs. Well this video is for you. This base has been tested on early, middle and late game. It can also be upgradable for you fashion people that like castles instead of safe simple bases. If you are just starting the game, it's gonna be a little harder for you because you lack proper tools. But don't worry, stone tools can do the trick. It's just gonna take a while longer. So let's get started, shall we? So we just started the game. The first thing you're gonna do is gather some materials. You're gonna need grass, stone, and wood. So punch ahead. Okay, you got your materials. Now, you need to find some kind of a point of interest. Some sort of a town or a village or something like that. That way, you can go out and get some cool stuff. So now that you found your point of interest, you're gonna have to go away from the edge of the town just a little bit so you don't attract zombies. Zombies are a real menace at the start, so stay clear of them. Big cities like this are spawn points for zombies and you don't wanna be around them. All right, you found your spot. This is where you're gonna build a base. Now, you need a lot of stone axes. That's where that stone grass and wood come into play. All right, so now that you got a bunch of stone axes, you are gonna need to craft some wood ladders. So if you're missing some more wood, go ahead and chop a few. You should get at least 60 ladders. All right, now that you got your ladders, make sure to spend all your points into Miner 69er. That's gonna help you dig faster, because yes, we are going down into the ground. Find a nice spot you're gonna dig into and start digging. Like I said, this is gonna take a while, but it's worth it, believe me. The zombies aren't gonna bother you anymore. You just go straight down until you hit the bedrock. All right, so now you hit the bedrock. The next thing you're gonna need is make a room. So make six by six at least. That's gonna give enough room for your stuff. All right, so now that you made your room, you're gonna have to use those ladders so you can get up there. So put all those ladders up to the top. All right, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, so bugs happen. It's okay. So now that you put all those ladders up to the top, you're gonna need a trapdoor so those zombies don't just fall down. Okay, you got your trapdoor. This looks like a cozy place. But you're gonna say, hey, it's not so secure. Yeah, it isn't. But hey, zombies aren't gonna see you anyway. You just gotta hop in and you're gone. All right. You can also put barricades around this place. Alright, so you made your traps around the entrance. You can also put blocks around it. But make sure to put a door. And lock it. This way, you can always upgrade your entrance. You can make it bigger, stronger. Later, when the game becomes a little easier, you can make some kind of a yard here. A killing floor, if you will. And kill all those pathetic zombies that dare come in here. When you're down here at the bottom, make sure to put those torches around. It can be so dark in here. So there you have it. Simple but effective base. Zombies can't even hear or smell you down here. Except for 7 day horde. That's a little bit weird. When the 7 day horde spawns, they know you're down here. But they forget about you in a minute. That's why this base is so cool. You're down here making those stone axes and clubs and they're up there roaming around trampling on your traps. I hope this guide helped you a lot. 
this kind of base served me pretty well. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. That is all for me guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.